Okay, so the Yankees took it 7-4 last night over the Angels, which was a necessary win. I'm happy about that, but you know, there's still some uh, there's still some worrisome things. You know, I, I'm but I am relieved too. I was worried that Jameson Tyron was going to be hurt. He was hit with a line drive in the forearm in the in the second inning. He he made it through two innings last night, and then they had to go to the bullpen and and rightfully so they had to do that to protect him. Um, he only threw two innings. So, but thankfully the negative, uh, the X-rays came out negative. So there's no fracture anywhere, just some day-to-day bruising in the forearm. So that's a relief. But they had to use one, two, three, four, five, seven pitchers, six other pitchers. So you know, Garrett Cole's gone on the mound today in the rubber game. He's going to have to give us some length so that we're not overusing the bullpen. I mean, Tyon went two and two, two innings, two hits, two runs. Um, and then Greg Weiser came in, had a much better performance. He got a lot better. Two innings of clean ball, two strikeouts. Lucas Slicky came in through two-thirds of one run ball. Uh, Lou Trevino came in through a clean inning. He's been getting better as well. Looks like they're working on some a better pitch repertoire for him. Ron Marinaccio came in, an inning and a third of clean ball. Johnny LeWiziga, an inning and a third of clean ball. And Juan Di Peralta with two-thirds of an inning. They give up a run. As the ERA is blown up to 2.72, so... <laughs> But all in all, it was a 7-4 win for the Yankees. I'll take the win. Um, and, you know, some bright spots. I'm looking at the offense here. Obviously, Andrew Benatendi with the, lead, with, the, with the home run in the first inning, which is fantastic. He's really starting to heat up on the power side as well. And Anthony Rizzo hit a nice home run to put him up 2-0 in the second inning. Then Max Stassi came back and put him uh, tied at a 2 off of J-Mo in the second. And then Josh Donaldson... Uh, there was a fielding error, a throwing error, and then Josh Johnson, the Yankees, scored two runs on that play. It's made put him up four to two, and then Aaron Judge, number fifty-one. Now, personally, I wasn't starting this countdown to sixty-one until he hit fifty. I wasn't even wasting my time, but now that we're here, I'll pay him a little bit more attention to it. Um, he's got a month to go, and there's a good chance he might be able to reach that Roger Maris sixty-one total. He's now fifty-one now, so congratulations to Judge. Keep it rolling. But he hit one, a two-run uh, two shot, actually a three-run shot, to put him up 7-2. to two. And then uh, Mike Ford again <laughs> hit a home run off, off our bullpen uh, in the fifth inning to put him up 7-3. He's just, I mean, look, he did it with the Yankees. He's doing it with the Angels now. He's, he's just these home runs. It's kind of like that uh, Rugnet Odor thing, right? He puts his team in the game, keeps him in the game, ties games. Just no flashy stats. You, know, you don't think he's going to be around for a, a while, but he does this. He has a pension for doing these types of things, so it is what it is. And then Taylor Ward with the single in the uh, the top in the bottom of the ninth to score Shohei Otani, who was also thrown out earlier in the game, his ninth time being thrown out stealing bases. So you know, it was all in all, solid game. It was a good defensive play by Kyle Gashioka, and uh, so I'm happy about that. Now, just like I said before, I put out news on a regular basis. So you guys and gals know this, but it's not always going to be flashy, right? It's not. That's why I put out. All the news, whether it's flashy or not, that way you can figure out for your own. You can you have your own perspective, own outlook on things. So you can decide what you think is great, what you think is not. And I want you to be as, as informed as possible. That way you come up with your own viewpoints on stuff. That's why I do it, okay? And I'm going to keep doing it. I want you to be in the loop on everything. So, And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do that. This way you're in the loop on everything. And if you do, hit the notification bell. That way you don't miss stuff And when it comes out live. So I don't want you missing anything. So, but I'm gonna keep that going. That's just my thing, whether it's good or bad. I don't always wait for just the big flashy news. It doesn't do it for me. I like the big flashy and the and the small news because the small stuff adds up. It's moves that are not flashy that become significant moves. So, and that's why I want to keep sharing it with you. But we'll be we'll be back later on for the recap uh, for the lineups actually, and then later on after that for the recaps. Um, but if anything else happens the rest of the day today. You know you're going to get it here, guys and gals. Have a great day. Talk to you next time.